For the PMDA, medical devices are reviewed based on risk classification. In Japan, there are four risk classification levels, class 1 to 4, with class 1 being the least risky and class 4 being the most. This is the first step that will determine your submission strategy, classifying your device. In Japan, the risk classification system is guided by Japanese guidance or YAC number 072022. You can find this guidance on the PMDA Japanese website, but it is in Japanese. This is an important point. You must consult and be close with your MAH. We will elaborate more on this from here on out. Your MAH should be able to provide you a translation of the guidances. YAC number 072022 is almost identical to the GHTF SG1 N15 2006, which gives you a matrix of criteria in which you can classify your device. The end result of the matrix is the risk classification of your device. The GHTF guidance has a device classification system of Class A to Class D, with A having the least risk. Similarly, the Japanese guidance has a classification system of Class 1 to Class 4, with Class 1 having the least risk. Usually, you can use the GHTF guidance to classify your device, and the respective risk class is directly translatable to the Japanese class. For example, a Class B device in the GHTF guidance will usually result in a Class 2 device in Japan. However, it is a good idea to check with the MAH and determine the device's JMDN code. The JMDN code is similar to the GMDN code or Global Medical Device Nomenclature. The GMDN code will give a general description of the device along with its risk class. The JMDN also does the same, but due to licensing restrictions, they have developed their own code system. You can see in this example the GMDN and JMDN codes for the same device. Most of the known codes are listed in Japanese, and it may require you to work with the MAH to do translations and verification. Do you see the theme here? It is imperative that the Japanese MAH is involved as much as possible. Basically, depending on your device's risk classification, there are several routes you can take. The Todokede route, or notification, the Ninsho route, or third-party review, or the Shonin, which is the ministerial review by the PMDA. The Todoke is the most straightforward and will require little extra work. The Ninsho and Shonin are a little more complex and there are several more routes within those routes for which your submission can take. It sounds complex, so let us review each route.